Back at Six Flags St. Louis after a couple weeks, and uh, Eagle isn't open on time, which is quite strange. Last few times I've gotten up here, Eagle has been open and ready to go. So don't know if they're just waiting until 11 o'clock to open the line, or if uh, they're not quite ready to open yet at all. But that's all right. Hopefully it opens soon though. And uh, Ryan and Ellis will be here today. Ryan's uh, somewhere else. I don't know where he is right now, but uh, Ellis will be joining us about I don't know one or so. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll five, so we'll have a couple hours once Ellis gets here, but yeah, first things first, got to ride Screaming Eagle for slow that line as a short roll, so it'll probably build up, I guess, so yeah, let's uh, wait for this thing to open. First ride of Eagle done, running a little bit slow. Ryan, you did cat while we are getting up here. What were you doing? I don't know. It's my favorite flat ride in the park, so I had to do it when the line's short. Yeah, and uh, Screaming Eagle, we got it going on. Yeah, it's actually on Blue Train today, which is quite nice. I haven't seen it run in uh, quite a while, actually. You got it going with the woods way out there. Yep, there it goes. You might see it on the bottom corner of the screen there. But uh, yeah, we're going to be riding this thing. Show us how it is. Second back on Eagle was honestly a little bit smoother than the front row, to be honest. I was really impressed. What do you think? It was really, really good. Okay, so last ride I had at Eagle was a very back row ride. This was the second but back row. So much better. Like, yeah. Way better. Definitely a bit better than my last time riding the back. And uh, Boss, we have not seen go yet, so we're gonna go down towards Justice Lee and Mr. Freeze now. And uh, I'm intrigued to see how Freeze's launch is, because after riding Storm Runner and King to Ka recently, that launch on Freeze is probably gonna be so much weaker. So, uh, yeah, I'm intrigued to find that out for myself. But also, after riding the obnoxiously difficult one at Great Adventure, I feel like the one at Justice League just like here will be a breeze, not a breeze I mean? compared to the one at Great Adventure. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't even break 500,000 on the dang thing at Great Adventure. Yeah. So, when I was at Great Adventure, I hit 3, 353,000. Nice. So. I and mean, for that one, I think it's pretty impressive. So, yeah, we're going to head down that direction. We'll check back up at the boss after a while if uh, we see and or hear it running. Max uh, just like a few times, and uh, now I'm going to try freeze. I wonder how this launch will feel, but if I had to guess, my guess though probably feel like a weak launch because I've written uh, some pretty good launch questions with it. So let's see how this one is. Freeze was definitely weak, as expected. Ellis, let's back to that again. Jeez, that was bad. There was someone in front of me that pretty much blocked my view the entire ride, so I barely got it. I didn't think I'd be able to max it out, which, jeez, that was rough. Boss isn't open quite yet, but we're doing a brief construction update for Rookie Racer. You seen anything? Maybe more footer. Oh. What, what are you pointing at? Oh, the construction the footers that are like concrete boxes. Right? Oh yeah, the footers are there. I think those are... Yeah, I think those were there our last time we were here, I think. But they might have done some more work on it, but then again, it's been like two weeks until last year, so I don't know. But yeah, once Boss opens, uh, we'll go up to the bridge and uh, take a close look at it. But uh, in terms of track, it looks like nothing else has really changed. Over there, that might be the station from what we're looking at way over there. I mean, I've said that a million times, but I don't know. But yeah, none of the track is quite in place. Uh, we'll have to uh, take a closer look at, at it at some point. But uh, yeah, it looks like Rookie Racer, uh, I don't think it's really changed much since the last time we were here. Train's not working. Running a lot smoother than I remember. And now we're gonna try Max out just again. Then maybe go away towards American Center. We haven't done that yet. I don't even know what that ride was. 
for whatever reason, like, I think the ride just had a major malfunction or something like that because my vehicle, none of us in our vehicle got to shoot at any of the screens. Like, the screens didn't even start up at all. You guys had that similar issue. So, well, our screens worked, but his blaster wasn't working that much. Yeah. yeah. I somehow still maxed it. Um, back left car and the one with the two uh, broken blasters in the front row. Oh, yeah, it was the car three, I think it was. So but. Car three, and I, I maxed it in the crates again, so I I don't know. Yeah, you guys at least got to shoot at it. And, and uh, then after the ride was over, my my score kept flashing between 15 and eight, all eights. Yeah, yeah I had my, that too. My gun, my score kept doing that too. All the guns were doing that. Yeah, and like none of the screens were started up, so I don't know what was going on with this thing. But uh, yeah, seems like it's safe to say this ride's gonna be down for a while. So yeah, we're gonna go do something different now. Uh, that's a good ride. But... Ryan cannot catch a break with log bloom. Oh, I had left side got soaked and my face and my shoes got it too. Yeah. But he said the shoes got wet from the water that was already sitting in the log. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alice, you and I didn't get too wet either, did we? Yeah. Long enough, we got more wet in racing rides, but poor Ryan just cannot catch a break. We got hit pretty hard, man. We did. We got hit. We actually, the reason why we were actually all, all in the same log for once, I think that was our first time trying that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so the results, uh, I don't know if they're expecting Didn't change. Didn't change. <laughs> yeah, basically. But yeah, we're gonna try American Thunder now because it's uh, pretty much a walk on at this point. The line was like a little long earlier, so we'll try it now. You don't like it over Mr. Timber? Uh, maybe. American Thunder just had technical difficulties, and so they're down right now. Uh, for the meantime, I think we're gonna go check Justice League and maybe also Mr. Freeze. So, yeah, let's try both of those. Arms down, head back, and hold on. Articles to the left of me and have a six flag today. Back row of Mr. Freeze was excellent. I would say better than my ride up front for this morning. And I just saw a blue train on American Thunder run through the course, and there were only four people on it, and yet the ride was still running way too fast for what it should have been. And I'm really excited to try it out because uh, last uh, GCI rode, I think it was a lightning racer, which is at Hershey Park a week ago from the day, which that's where I'm recording this. So yeah, I want to go see how American Thunder is, but yeah, that uh, ride I got on Freeze is excellent. And, uh, see how fast the blue train's running, makes me excited to try it. American Thunder now, so let's give it a go, see how it is. Front row ride on American Thunder a little bit ago, and uh, pacing was good, but the airtime was a little weaker than I was expecting, even though the ride was flying. And uh, that ride was doing something weird, like the control panel went out to dispatch the train and have it re-enter the station. It was uh, being a little finicky, and that's why the ride went down for technical issues earlier, because, well, like it wasn't dispatching properly, so. Yeah, that was strange. Did you guys have that experience? We had the braking at the end as oh. well as the beginning. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys were actually on the train when uh, had technical issues earlier. So yeah, I, mean, I was on it. I felt like I got some good airtime moments. You did. Nice. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, the airtime I got wasn't as good as I thought it would be. I got lots of room too. Yeah, I didn't have too much, but. But yeah, that was a weird situation right with American Thunder not uh, acting right. Very temperamental. Never acts like that. Never yeah, I've, like I've that. never seen it do that. So yeah, we're gonna try this stuff, see if we can do any better this time. I really got it on my most recent ride just now as a fifth screen. Last one wasn't working out time, so I'm surprised I got it, but let's hope we're to look. Batman back row. That thing was absolutely absurd. It was going way too fast to reach the elements. And uh, oh my gosh, those core screws at the end are just absolute insanity. Don't remember the last time I ran that intense. I mean, I don't know. It's definitely possibly the most intense ride I had on this year. That was absurd. And uh, definitely puts one a great adventure to shame. And now I'm intrigued to try the front row to see how that compares to the back. So let's head that way and try it again. Oh, that's 
six, looks like row one. articles then you're good if you do have those articles you can now set them off to the side of the stock only drinks can be set off to the side tried batman in the front row and that was really good as well but that being said i think i might be slightly leaning towards the back of the best on the ride although i'm not 100 percent sure about that it's rare that i ride it multiple times a day let alone back to back so that was kind of cool to get two rides on it so overall pretty solid there now we're gonna go check out Screaming Eagle, see how that line is. And if it's not horrible, we'll get a ride on it. Otherwise, we're gonna go down to the boss. Do you want one lap on that and then go ride Justin? Because Ellis has to leave soon. So we're gonna check Eagle and that line is long. We'll give that a shot. Got to head out, but uh, we did rest Grim and Eagle. What do you think about it? The, the airtime moments were pretty insane, and plus it kept we kept getting jerked around through those turns and stuff. So. Yeah, but I mean, I think it was a little smoother than the opposite train. Yeah, it's always known for doing that. Yeah, so. but then again, it's over like what 45 years old. Yeah, over there. Right. So. Long time. Yeah, and that's uh, so why I know you have to leave early. What do you remember what you got on today? Like what your record was? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I did two on Batman. Uh, one on Log Flume, one on Mr. Freeze, one on American Thunder, one on Screaming Eagle, one on Boss, and Hard I don't goodness. remember a, a couple for Justice League. All so. right. Yep. The crowds, for the most part, weren't horrible. Like Batman, like we rode that a couple times actually, which is not something we usually do. Yeah. So yeah like, Ryan and I, we still got a little bit of time left, so we're gonna go over and start uh, doing some other stuff now. Freaking blaster didn't work out the time, so I missed it by like fifteen thousand. So frustrated about that because it's the second time I missed today. First one wasn't like none of them were really my fault because the ride acted up, but yeah, just frustrating. We got to head out a little bit early today, but uh, today was awesome. Final ride count for me was uh, 16 on Justice League. Three on Screaming Eagle, two on Batman, Boss, and Mr. Freeze, and then one on, I think, American Thunder and Log Flume. What'd you get on today? So one on Catwoman, one on Log Flume, one, okay, two on Batman, two on Boss, one on American Thunder, um, and three on Mr. Freeze. Oh, you did a third time? What'd you do? Oh, that's right, you wrote before. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, you did Pandemonium, you did Pandemonium I think, Pandemonium once. And, uh, yeah. I think that's it. Well, overall, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, we finished the night with the triple max, us three. Yeah, we us two, yeah. Yeah, I double maxed it. Uh, I was nervous going to the last screen. I didn't think I'd actually get it. Yeah, I got it. So, overall, pretty successful day, I'd say. And uh, before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the summer, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you know if I'd ever time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks. So be sure to check me out there as well. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks you guys again for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Until then, I'll see you later.